All right, now, you guys wanna know what's going on with the rockers from China. You know, the Shanghai Bandit thing here. We got, uh, here's what I figured out. To adjust these with stock push rods, this is way too far down, the freaking oil hole and the last thread is right there, so the oil is going to come out rather than get into the trunnions. So what's got to happen is it's roughly 250 thousandths, another quarter inch longer I need on the push rods. I'm going to measure it to make sure uh, if you got the setup, you're going to have to measure your own because I can't guarantee your blocks are the same height and everything else. And the old plates, when you cut them down and work in there, they work out great. They perfectly center everything. Now, the tip is just a hair back off the center at this point. I'm not adjusting it out any farther. It'll be fine for what I'm doing on this. But if you want to get anal, by all means, do what you got to do. And then the other problem I'm having with them is the valve covers will not fit. I'm going to try some of the cheap specters and see if they'll go. But I'm. it says they're three inches tall. Well, this is exactly at three inches from right here. So, you know, when it pushes up, we're going to see what happens. I'll, I'll put them on, try them, and we'll know then. And then the other thing we had going today was finishing off the intake. It's all done except for the center, which I marked out already. And uh, I'm just going to take it to work, use a die grinder, cut the four sides out. Then I'm going to massage it out with my aluminum bits to make it the exact size of this. I'll bolt this back down and then uh, massage it all evenly. And then uh, I need another quarter inch on the bolts, quarter to half. And then uh, I'm going to steal the 750 and the two inch spacer off the El Camino and it's going to go on here for a while. And other than that, we're looking pretty good. I should have the front cover on it this week. And the oil pan's all but done, so that'll go back on. And I'm going to clean the shit out of the inside of this engine while it's open. Get all this sludgy crap off. And I got new uh, valve seals. If you got an old 49-year-old engine like this one is, if you look in there, the old umbrella seals are all broke up and hard and brittle. So just get on, like, Rock Auto or go to your local parts store. And these are like, uh, I don't know, I think I paid two fifty dollars for all 16 of them. You know, and they're just little cheapies. But they'll work. It's just, this engine's just a stock 70, 10 to 1, 472. So we'll see what it does here pretty soon. And I ain't holding my breath to make it to Byron, but you never know, man. It's looking like we might actually get there. The car is registered. I just got to get it insured when she's rolling. So once the engine and trans are in, hooked up. We're, we're set. Oh, and the other thing I hadn't rolled by people yet is something I thought about doing with the exhaust. Now, I've got these other cheap Chinese headers. Well, the exhaust parts are symmetrical, right? So if I pull off the, the front tube, just pull it off, take off all the welds in and out, pull these out, and then shift the front three to the back and then make a new tube going from the front to here look at it here's another way to look at it so this is where they'll sit not not the plate so much but now it's a rear dump and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then just run this tube up and over to the front and then take it back together so that should help you guys out a lot because those are some cheap ass headers and if you screw them up it's metal man get the welder out get the plasma cutter out make it work